In my previous video introducing Windows Server 2008, I mentioned a new feature, the Windows PowerShell. In this short tutorial, I'm going to give an introduction to the PowerShell, and it's going to be aimed at Windows administrators who haven't used this new console before. Now, what is the Windows PowerShell? Um, the PowerShell is a new .NET-based environment for command line administration. It also does scripting on Windows platforms. Now, it does it on new Windows platforms, so Windows Server 2008, uh, Windows uh, Vista, even Windows XP. Um, so anyone who's played around with the old command prompt, the cmd.exe, will have an idea of kind of what it does, um, but the PowerShell, as its name implies, has a lot more power. So let's have a look at it. Using the PowerShell is all based on uh, commandlets. Now, what's a commandlet? A commandlet, uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, here we have get hyphen location. Um, this one uh, gets you the location. Uh, now, you can actually see this um, already. Um, it says here PS um, in the C drive. So PS stands for PowerShell. So we are actually in the C drive. Um, and that's, that's where we're pointing to. Um, so a, a commandlet is actually based on a verb noun pair. So a verb get in this case uh, and then a hyphen and the noun in this case location um, common verbs that there are get set new uh, nouns that we might use location item service date um, not all verbs can be used with all nouns uh, and, and that can be to begin with a bit difficult to work out what works with what um, but there's a great help um, system get dash help um, and then we can help type in any command that we want. So, for example, if I want to look at the, the verb um, get, get help, get. And uh, here we have a list of all the, um, uh, all the uses of get and all the verbs that it works with. Um, I'm just going to clear that. Um, we could do get help, uh, and then we could get... Um, have a look at something else. For example, get location, the one we just used. Location. Um, and it gives information about this. Um, now I've actually been clearing the screen um, with uh, clear host uh, command or commandlet. Um, and, and that just clears the screen. It's a bit like the CLS um, command in uh, the command prompt. Uh, other things that we can do uh, in the help uh, get help get location if you use the um, full switch um, it will give you a lot more information it will even give you examples as well so if you want to find out more um, than just the general help if you want to find the full help with examples use that um. uh, there's also aliases as well uh, now aliases are old uh, command prompt commands um, that work so for example DIR, if anyone's familiar with that, it give you the directory. It's exactly the same um, as get. Uh, actually, let me just uh, clear that so we're back to the top of the screen. It's the same as get child item. So you can use the old command prompt commands, and they work as aliases for the PowerShell verb noun commandlets. So the DIR command is actually an alias for the get child item. Now, if you're going to use the PowerShell um, a lot or quite frequently, then I suggest it's worth learning the new uh, verb noun commandlets rather than the old command prompt commands. Okay, now let's have a look at navigating. Um, let me just clear this up to the top. So, we've looked at uh, the command get location, um, which tells us where we're pointing in the directory structure. Um, how do we change the location? How do we change where we're pointing? Well, um, have a look at this set location now um, set location without anything doesn't do anything but if we do set location um, maybe let's have a look let's set it to uh, D drive um, now you can see that the command prompt here uh, PS D uh, we can set it back set location um, back into the C uh, so that's basically the way to actually change uh, where you're pointing. Um, now, obviously, uh, if you want to set it to uh, a folder within the C drive here, I can do set location. Now, 
if you're doing a folder that actually has uh, spaces in the words of the folder, so for example, um, ooh, I can't spell, documents and settings, you'll notice that I have to put the whole um, in uh, quotation marks, okay? Because otherwise, when it reaches that space, it thinks that's the end of the command. Um, and now we're in documents and settings. Okay, here's something for those people who are familiar with the old command prompt. Prompt. Um, so you can see that the CD command still works. It's an alias, uh, and uh, we can still change directory that way. Um, and actually, it does actually provide a quicker way of doing things if we were typing um, rather than having to set location. Uh, okay, so another thing you might want to do is uh, create a new item. Um, guess what the commandlet is for creating a new item? New item. Now um, you can specify the name of the item. I'm going to make a new folder. It's going to be called new folder. And you can also specify types. You can have files or you can have directories. So um, the type I'm going to make, obviously, is called new folder. I'm going to make a directory. Um, and you can see that it actually makes the um, directory there. If I uh, get the child item, um, then you can see zoom along here that there's a um, new folder called new folder. Uh, uh, other things you can do um, is you can make uh, files. So um, here we have a, a new item and a name. I'm going to call it uh, text.txt. That's very interesting. And the type is going to be a file. Um, there we've actually made a, a file and um, Let's have a look at see if it's there. There you can see text.txt. Uh, other things that we can do, um, we've looked at navigating it just around the the uh, directory structure and the hard drive. Something else that is um, obviously very different from the command prompt. Um, have a look at this. Set location. HKLM. Um, what do you think the HKLM is? Uh, the H key local machine. Now this is actually the registry. We're actually looking at the registry. We can access the registry directly from the PowerShell. Um, so that's one of the very powerful things it can do. Um, we can see what's in there. Um, uh, and it actually shows us what's in there. There's actually um, uh, access denied line here. But we can see the, um, the various keys and we could actually um, navigate through those keys and we could actually change them if we wanted to as well. Um, I'm going to go back to the C drive. Um, so that's uh, really all about uh, navigating, viewing, uh, maybe uh, adding new things to um, the directory. Another thing that we might want to do is uh, maybe view the date or change the date. Um, get date gets us the date. Uh, the full date formatted um, with the time and everything. Uh, we could have get date. Um, now this is a new one we haven't looked at yet. It's display hint and uh, my display hint is time. Now if you want to find out what these display hint is then do a help, uh, get help, get date and it will actually show you. So display hint time will just show the time. Uh, get date display hint date obviously we'll just show the date um, now that's the get date now how do we change the date well it's pretty simple uh, with the whole verb noun pairing set date and um, we could then set the date uh, to be and this is where we could actually then type in the date now I don't want to change the date I'm going to keep the date as it is um, but that's how you can see how this whole verb noun pair works once you know um, certain uh, nouns, uh, you can actually start playing with them. You can have a look at the help file and see what's actually going. Um, something else that we can do that could be quite useful, um, get service. 